So hey guys, Clint here, Cairns Dive Adventures. So today I wanted to talk to you about how to choose a liverboard dive trip on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Um, and it's going to be based on two things. And one is how many dives have you done? What sort of um, experience do you have as a diver? Um, and how much time do you have? And based on those two things, we're going to be able to help you choose the best liverboard dive trip on the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Okay, without further ado, let's go. All right, now, one of the main cities to find the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the city of Cairns, okay? It's based in far north Queensland, and typically you can fly there from Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, uh, and outside of COVID-19, you could get a direct flight from uh, New Zealand, from Japan, from Singapore, from China. Uh, anyway, so hopefully that all resumes pretty soon. Now, coming down to talking about um, what sort of diver are you, and how much time you have. There's three things that I would uh, specifically talk about for what sort of diver are you. And one is, are you a, a first time diver or uh, you're just newly certified? You might have seven dives, 10 dives, 15 dives, uh, pretty new to diving. Um, where is the best spot for you guys uh, for a liverboard off of Cairns? Uh, the second thing is maybe you are an intermediate diver that you've got about 50, 60 dives, maybe 100 dives. Where do you want to go? What's going to be suitable for you? And then you've got your advanced divers. Maybe you're an advanced diver, rescue diver, you're a dive instructor. Maybe you've dived all over the world. You've been in the Maldives, you've been in the Red Sea, uh, Malaysia, Philippines, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. Um, we've got tips for you guys too on where to dive. All right, so let's get stuck into it. Okay, so we're back. Basically, if you haven't dived too much, but you're looking, still looking for an awesome dive trip, like you wanna get out there and, and have excellent dives, um, but you're only sort of eight, 10 dives in, 12, 15 dives in, you're still a pretty new diver, then absolutely I recommend diving the reefs off of Cairns. And, you know, if you look at the map, you know, there's areas out here, which is Norman, um, Norman, Saxons, Hastings Reef region. You've also got out here, Flynn, Milne and Pella Reef region. So from Cairns, the city of Cairns, that's about 65 kilometers out to Flynn, Milne and Pella Reefs. And then Cairns right up until Norman, uh, Saxons and Hastings, you know, 45 Ks, 50 Ks. Um, so for comfortability, there's some beautiful liverboards that dive here and you can do a two day, one night or a three day, two night. Um, this is also great for people if you've got a snorkeler on board, maybe your wife's not a diver, she still would like to go out on the boat but not um, sort of get into scuba diving. You'd like to dive, uh, you'd still like to see beautiful things, Then, but you want a bit of comfort in your boat and your accommodation, then absolutely there's an area here for you in Norman, Saxons and Hastings Reef Systems. Get in touch with us guys. The whole idea of this video is to give you tips and then for further questions, Contact us, there's a link down below, and we're gonna point you in the right direction with uh, which company you should go with. Um, all the liverboards off cans, all the diving is unguided. Uh, so some liverboards don't even offer guides. You have to go out, explore the reefs at your own leisure. Uh, they all give fantastic dive briefings, charts, maps, um, you know, a 10 minute briefing before each dive, showing you the contour of the reef, where the best parts of the reef are, how to get back to the boat, the mooring lines, things like this. So um, typically diving on the Great Barrier Reef is very easy. Um, always listen to your instructors out on board before you jump in the water, they'll give you the best direction. Uh, but as I mentioned, some boats don't even offer guided dives, some do, okay? So typically the boats up around uh, Norman, Saxons and Hastings Reef systems, they do offer guided diving. Uh, most companies charge you a few bucks extra for each time you want to guide dive. But out here, Flynn, Milne and Pellows, there is no guided diving. So if you want to go out here and dive in this area, it's typically, um, you know, suited to someone who's a little bit more experienced. Maybe you've dived by yourself, you've explored the reefs, you've been able to find the boat, make it back to the boat. Then Flynn, Milne and Pellows is great. Um, the vessels that get out here too are single hull vessels, so they do bob around in the water. So it is catered towards a little bit more, uh, someone who's a bit more experienced on boats and doesn't mind a bit of motion. 
moving along through to the advanced divers so people that have perhaps been you know you've you've dived all over the world in many different locations then you've got extended liverboards typically that leave on a monday come back to cairns on a thursday or they leave on a thursday and come back to cairns on a monday there's also some seven day far northern exploratory dive expeditions too these things are worth talking about um, so typically all big liverboards live at leave out of cairns um, trips leaving on a monday set sail dive the ribbon reefs all the way up uh, to a little island called Lizard Island, which is right up on the, uh, towards the northern part of Australia. Um, and then you would typically take a low-level flight uh, on the Thursday back down to the city of Cairns. Um, for those a little more adventurous, you could depart on a Thursday, catch a low-level flight from Cairns up to Lizard Island, and then jump on the liverboard, do a few dives out on these ribbon reef region up here, and then sail right out to Osprey Reef. Osprey Reef is kind of like a dormant volcano um, around a thousand meters deep popping all the way to the surface. Um, it's a big enough pinnacle reef that boats can get out there in relative wind, you know, eight, 15, 18 knots. Once it starts pushing 20s, 25s and 30s, it gets pretty tricky. So sometimes the trips, you know, will cancel throughout the year. It's not often, but sometimes they will. And they'll spend all their time diving on the ribbon reefs off of Cairns. Uh, but getting out to Osprey is awesome. North Horn, which is that, that one at the top there, that's the North Horn shark feed. Uh, they'll drop a little cage down with some tuna heads in it. There's an amphitheater there. Um, I'll put some photos up of what that looks like. Um, and that's one of the highlights of diving out on uh, Osprey Reef. Big walls, drift diving, beautiful sea fans around 22 meters, a lot of color. That is gorgeous. Um, typically, you could then, if, if the skippers are see fit and the weather's looking good, um, they may bring you down to Bougainville Reef. And Bougainville is also another little pinnacle reef popping up from the depths. And that's uh, just stunning. It's really, really beautiful coral coverage. Um, conditions are still good. Then you could even get down to Holmes Reef. From Holmes Reef, track back into Cairns. Now, typically... Um, you can do seven day expeditions as well. Uh, these depart at certain times of the year only, usually around September, October, hmm, September, October. Uh, generally that's when your low southeasterly winds are and uh, boats can track up the ribbon reefs all the way up the edge of Australia and come right up to the tip of Australia. Um, these are pretty magnificent if you ever get a chance to do this. And seven days means uh, diving up the coast one way, flying back by aeroplane the other way, or vice versa, flying up the coast from Cairns to Horn Island, meet the boat, and then diving those ribbon reefs all the way back down and into Cairns. Those trips are typically for experienced divers. I wouldn't recommend a snorkeler on any of those. Um, and I wouldn't recommend uh, beginner divers. It's all for advanced dive certification. Um, the ribbon reefs, the, the trips that leave on a Monday out of Cairns um, and dive up to Lizard Island, um, those you can get away with an open water diver. It is better to be an advanced diver and a lot of these trips will let you get your advanced dive course while you're out there. It is an optional extra charge. Uh, but definitely the trips right out in through to Osprey Reef that you need to be an advanced diver to be able to dive out here. Uh, and uh, the companies do request that you have that certification before you get there. So hopefully that gives you some ideas that if you are not a very highly experienced diver, you really want to get out and do some beautiful diving, then definitely get on a boat from uh, Cairns and you know zip on out to either Norman, Saxons, Hastings Reef. There's some beautiful diving. Uh, the fishbowl up in Hastings, the wild side of Norman Reef. Um, there's gorgeous diving, three days and two nights out there, the perfect time amount of time. Um, those perhaps with a little bit more experience wanting to sort of challenge themselves a bit more, then go from Cairns and out to Flynn Reef. Flynn, Milne and Pellows. Out here, all the diving is unguided. There's no option to get a dive guide. Uh, and that's why I would suggest, you know, um, possibly look at that as an option for those that are a bit more experienced. Um, and then those that are advanced divers, um, you know, global travelers and diving all around the world, uh, then you want to look at doing these ribbon reef trips, heading north all the way up to Lizard Island, out to Osprey Reef, um, and even those that have the funds and also the time come right up into the tip of Australia. 
So beginner divers, you want to be uh, looking at the reefs out on Norman, Saxons and Hastings Reef. Even beginner to intermediate divers really enjoy those trips. Um, they're very comfortable. The boats are really comfortable out there. Great diving. And you get the chance that you can also book and get a dive guide. Um, most of the boats have private bathrooms and private rooms, so very comfortable. Um, those that are a little bit more of an experienced diver, then definitely heading out to Flynn, Milne and Palo Reefs. Um, and no option to get a dive guide there, but the chance to buddy up if you're a solo diver with another certified diver and you guys can explore the reefs in your own buddy pairs. Very beautiful diving. Uh, third, heading out up onto the Ribbon Reefs, so diving all the way up north to the Lizard Island, out to Osprey Reef, uh, down to Bougainville and Holmes Reef if you can, uh, and then for those that really want longer expeditions, the far northern expeditions. Hopefully there's some great tips in there, um, and any questions, let us know below and we'll try to answer them as best we can. Um, until next time, stay tuned, and we'll get some more information out to you soon. All right, bye now. You